Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Teaching Budget. I am Mercedes. I'm a single mom of one beautiful little girl. I am also a kindergarten teacher who is on her financial journey. So if you'd like to join me on this journey, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button so you never miss when I post. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Alright guys, you know what it is. It is officially November, but before we can get into November, we have to wrap up October. So at least it's an official November when you're seeing this video. It is officially October 29th for me while I'm filming this. But we have to wrap up October before we can even think about November. So we need to, and that of course means we need to pull money we got to do some unstuffing to pay off my credit cards so who i redid my expense trackers to hopefully make this a little easier on us so i have them separated by binder so we can just quickly go in pull what we need to do out of each binder and not have to be flipping back and forth so hopefully this makes this a little bit more a little more easy and painless for us okay so we're going to go ahead and get started with my wallet. I'm going to make sure I got my pencil so I can write. And I am going to be using my tablet for this um, instead of printing it out like I have in the past because I just don't feel like doing that. All right. So most of the um, money is um, from my wallet is already in my um, in to the bank. If I just like pull it as I'm like going throughout the month. So that money is already here. All right. So what I should have done. Give me a second. I'm going to do a couple of things. So let me go ahead and tally what's supposed to be into the bank. So, all right. So this is all my into the bank money, which should have about $261.91. And that includes all of my charges that I pulled out of like my dining out. So eating out from my personal spending, from, um, let's see, from, from my shopping, from just a bunch of different things that I've done in my wallet. So I do have a prop bill that's $5 from miscellaneous that's in my, um, in my savings account that I'm going to have to pull, pull over for this so pull from ally so i am going to count this but i'm not going to put it in with that so i should have about 261.91 although i did pull 30 dollars out of here to cover um to go into my saving challenges in mini monday um although that 30 dollars is currently in the bank already so we don't have to worry about that I also said, oh shoot, actually my number is wrong. Give me a second. <sighs> Freak. Yeah. yeah, my number was off by like $20. It's actually $24.20 20, because um, $242.06, um, I mean. 24 Because I do have something on here that says I it's like a $21 charge. Although mom and it's for McDonald's, but twenty of that my mom actually paid for, so um, that twenty is also in my bank account. Okay, <laughs> so we have I have fifty dollars that belongs to into the bank in my bank account. Okay, so we're gonna minus fifty from here, so I should have about one hundred and ninety-two dollars and six cents um, here. So let's count and see how much we have into the bank. So one hundred, two hundred, three hundred. I wish these were hundreds. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, Two, what am I missing? Oh, four, I have a $43 charge. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, excuse me. So that's $235.58. $235.81. So that's $200 right here. Let's count that one more time. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 67. What the? See, guys, this is this is what I'm talking about. And that's 72. What is happening? Because I don't have anything that should be into the bank. So what's wrong with my money? Why isn't the money's adding up? Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm going to do this again. Give me a second. Yeah. All right. So when I do it with the rounded up amounts, it should be $292. I think that's what I was doing wrong. So let's try that again. Uh, but 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. What the hell is wrong with me? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57. Um, wait. Hold on. Give me a second because I'm not going to be able to do that math. 10, 25, 35, 45, 55, 62. So 262. I'm supposed to be minusing 50 from that. So I should only need 242. I don't know. I just got a little extra money in there. I don't know. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this crap. It is what it is. And I will figure it out when I'm paying bills. But there's that $5 that I need to pull from my life. Okay. So that's my into the bank one. Now we're going to go into my wallet because I have to pull my gas from my gas. So we have 43.41. It's going to roll up to $44. And that is going to be a 69 cent um, roundup. So that's $44. So let's pull 20, 30, 40. Let's pull 50 because that's all I have for $44. And I'm going to take six back. Oh my god, I've done this like <laughs> intentional livings. Cool. Um next my next one is fifty-four oh four. So that's gonna run up to fifty-five dollars. Actually, no, it's not. It's gonna stay at fifty-four because I'm not doing that. So let's get fifty-four dollars. So I'm gonna have to do sixty. So fifty-four dollars out of sixty is six dollars back. Oh no, I'm out of 10. I'm out of ones. That's not great. <laughs> All right. So we're not going to round that up. I'm not about to do a 96 cents roundup. I'm not doing that. I can't. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. I already have that done. Um, our next one is 46.09. I'm also not rounding that one up. So that's just going to be $46. So we're going to go 20, 45, 46. And then our last one is $49.58, which is going to be $50. $49.58. And that is a, a roundup of $0.42. Cents for $50. And I'm going to have to break my $100. This one is $20.40. $20, and I'll get $50 back. So leftover in gas, after all of that, we have $20, dollars 60 75 $76. Oh, I think this is the lowest I've been in gas in forever. Like, Jesus. All right, but that's everything that's coming out of my wallet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But hey, we got 100 over here. We got a bunch of stuff on that. All right, so that's wallet. Let's move on. 
Um, next, we're going to go to my daughter's binder. Put my wallet on the floor. Let's get out of my way. So we have a few categories we're going to pull out of my daughter's. Not, we're, never, we're not pulling out of savings. We are finished pulling out of clothing, and I lost my mind. I spent so much on clothing. So we're going to do, there's a $32.80 um, chart. So we're going to round it up $0.20 cents to $33. There's a $69.24. So we're gonna round that up to 70. By, we're gonna round that up 76 cents to $70. Ooh. And that's all the clothing. So that is $103. If you watch my reallocation video, you know I stuffed the heck out of this envelope to try to get it to be enough for her for it. So 2040. Let's see if I can skip those. I don't think I can, though. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Nope. I have to pull that 20 at least. Actually, I'm going to pull all over because you guys know how I feel about having these small bills in here. Oh, 20, 40, 60, 75, 85, 95, 100, and three dollars. So let me get my note, my notepad. And I'm going to start writing down what I'm taking from Ally. So my Ally savings account. So I'm going to pull from my from Ally. I'm going to pull from miscellaneous, $5. I'm going to pull from Gigi's clothing, $30. Okay. So there's that. And then that's 103 going in. That's 103. Although. I didn't get to add in the co. So we have left over 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars. So we have 17 left over. So that means. What's that I put in here? I'll add it forty five to get it to one twenty. So now we have seventeen. No. All right. So that's all for my daughter's clothing. All right, so I'll check those off. Now we're gonna go into her our fun envelope and we are about to do some pulling, okay? So we did a movie night at my school in which I spent $2 on a pizza and a drink, on two slices of pizza now. Then we had Wendy's afterwards cause we were still hungry. So that was $4 there, okay. And then we have, uh, another fun night after uh, our fall harvest festival at her school. We went to Costco and got dinner, and that was four dollars. So that's a sixteen cent up round up for that one. And then at the pumpkin patch, I bought her a tiny a little pumpkin to paint, so that was two dollars. Also at the pumpkin patch, we spent. $31.29 on food. So that's going to run up to $32. And that's going to be a $0.71 cent round up. And then after that, we got Taco Bell for dinner. And so on that night, we got Taco Bell for dinner. And that was um, $13. And that's going to be a $0.76 cents up charge. Okay. So that means we got it. $57 coming out of 
our fun envelope. 57, so 20, 40, 5, 50. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this with you guys. I am not breaking. Okay, you know what? I want to get this 15 out. So let's just do it. Okay, 20. I need $57. So 20, 40, 55, 57. No, I need mm -mm, I need all of this out of here. How do I get all of this out of here? How do I get all of these twos out of here too? Okay, uh, hold on. So 20, 40, 50, 5. Put that five back. 20, 40, 55, 57, 59. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this 20 in. And <laughs> I'm going to get $2 back to go in here. So with that 20 and that $20 back, it's going to make that even. So I'm only putting 40 in here right now. And from our fun envelope, I'm going to pull 10, 15, $19 out of there because I want these gone so I can stop counting on things. So that means in a fun, I added $5 from challenges so that had me at 214 so now we're at um, expense was minus 57 so we're at 120 40 5 50 5 56 57 so 157 That math correct? Yeah, it is okay. I don't know why I'm down on myself today, but 157. I didn't do as bad as I thought I did in fun, so that's cool. All right, so there's that. So some of these things are gonna be like, what the heck? I'm gonna when I come to stuff in those envelopes, but they'll be fine. All right. Next, we're going to pull from undies. So I did do a um, pull-up buy for my daughter. And that was a total of $57.64. So that's going to be a $0.36 cent round up to $58. So we have $50.60. $60. So 58 means I am getting $2 back. So one, two. I really don't have any dollar bills over here. <laughs> Jesus. So 20, 40, 5, 20, 45, 46, 47. 47. Undies got $5. From challenges. Like 105, and then we just pulled 58. So make it 20, 40, 47, which is great. I'm moving for it, honestly. All right, and last category from my daughter's binder is her hair fund. Um, we did not get any extra money this week, but it is getting pulled from, so let's go ahead and write that down. And we're going to pull $7 out of here. So that's going to be a 26 round up all right so seven dollars coming out we're gonna pull this 10 out we do not have any fives I mean any ones okay give me a second where can I go to check on ones I know exactly where to go to get ones I'm gonna go to my medical
Because I know I just stuffed a bunch of ones in here, so let's go on in here and get to looking. So I have one, two, three. Okay, take that one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna get two ones and pull this ten in, and that will help with the scratching of my medical envelope. <sighs> There we go. I guess I knew where to go to get some one. So that's awesome. All right. We'll get there. Okay, so like I said, we had 75. Make sure it's 24 to 60, 75. Yeah. All right, so we're going to put $7 in. So put my 10 in. And I'm going to take $3 back. So my daughter's hair now has. 20, 40, 60, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 68 dollars. All right. And that is everything from my daughter's binder. All done. Now we're going to move on to my high priority binder. So, um, I did have a charge that was actually from September. It was my Peacock charge. It was for $43.75, but I have already pulled that out of my annual fees and it was in the money that was in the into the bank um, fund. So, we don't have to pull anything from there. We are going to go, our first one is going to be car maintenance. I did have to get an oil change for $115.73. So that's going to be a 27 cent up uh, roundup for that to $116. Whoa. And then I did have to buy a, some batteries for my key fob because my key fob just was dead. And literally I couldn't even unlock my door and anything. So it was getting ridiculous. So I spent $11.94 on two packs of batteries for my key fob. So that's a six cent um, upcharge to $12. So for maintenance today, I'm pulling out $128. Okay. So let's see. We're going to have to take 100, just 100, 20, 30. And we're going to put it. Two dollars back in here. One, two. So from car maintenance, I'm pulling a hundred dollars out. So let's go down ten spits minus one twenty eight. So that leaves me with $100, $200, and $302 in car maintenance. Okay. Car registration is good. Sick day. However, we did have a sick day. Me and my daughter were both not feeling great. So I did. She, for, for once, this sick day, she demanded out on mcdonald's we were out for like two days and she demanded mcdonald's all she wanted was freaking fries so we got two mcdonald orders um so one was thirty dollars and fifty six cents which will round up to, um 44 cents to 31 dollars and the other one was 24.75 which will round up 25 cents to $25. So we're taking $56 out of sick day. Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Oh, but I'm going to have to. So I'm going to pull the entire 100 out of sick day. Because I do not want any small bills. Prop, small prop bills in here so we're gonna pull that 100 which makes me sad so 100 so i'm gonna get 44 dollars back so 20 40 
for the one, for the two, for the three, for the four. In here. All right. So in sick day now, we have 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. So $79 in sick day. $79 left in expense and sit there, I mean. Okay. And that's all for sit day. I mean, that's all for my high priority binder. All right, now we're going to move on to my low priority binder. Jesus Christ. Which I'm not looking forward to. Okay. So, where to start? Where to start? Um, Nothing in medical, although I do have bill coming soon for that. Nothing in clothing for me. I do have a couple of toiletries, I believe. Yep, okay. So I have one that was for some Jergens lotions for me and some Destin for my daughter, which I technically should have put the Destin in her, out of her undies, but I was just like, you know what? I ain't got time to be trying to do all of that. Um, so this is going to be a 42 cent roundup to $14. So that was $13.58. And then I have another toiletries for $13.26, which is going to be a... 74 cent round up um from 1326 to 13 to 14 dollars so from toilet trees this week i am um pulling out this month i'm pulling out 28 dollars just making sure i don't see any more toilet trees perfect so that's gonna be 28 coming out of toilet trees so we have 40 so that should be 12 dollars coming back in and I don't have any more ones. <laughs> You're being with me right now. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I'm going to come in here to my ones challenge. Hello. I'm going to buy a few ones out of here. Let me just get. I do not want all of those new ones. It's going to drive me nuts. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do 20, 11, oh God, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm going to take a 20. Okay. And now we're not counting this challenge we're just gonna put it all back there we go. all right we got some fresh fresh ones oh my god this may not be great <laughs> okay that's gonna be two dollars there and i'm gonna try to intermingle these fresh ones with some old bills to try, hopefully make it a little easier on me as much as I can. Although I don't seem to have that many new bill tokens. Okay, that one's okay. These are kind of grubby. Okay, I think I had enough. Look at this shining bright. Yes, okay. So we're getting $12 back. So that's two and 12. All right. So toiletries now has 20, 40, 50, two dollars. And more than likely I'm just deleting all of this, like this stuff. So 28 and we have how much? 52, 20, 40, 52. All right, 
So that is that for toiletries. All right, now let's look. Do we have any self care? No self care. We do have some holidays. I don't know. I have at least one holiday. So I have a dollar and thirty three holiday because my daughter really because I bought no I bought a, a candy bowl for how for our um for I bought a candy bowl for Halloween. It was one thirty three, so it's gonna be a, a round up of. $67 and interesting thing about this one is it doesn't go in here because I pulled that money out of my shopping so I'm gonna put that five in I'm gonna take out five ones one two three four five I'm gonna take two ones and because that money came out of my shoppings it's gonna go back into my shopping in my envelope in my um, wallet this is great because my shopping is empty <laughs> I used it to help like make the money that I needed correct and for like a charge that I forgot I had done and I just didn't pull the money out the week that I was supposed to and I had to fix it so there's that all right so with that $2 charge, and I'm pretty sure that's the only holiday one I have, making sure, yep. Yeah. So with that $2 charge, I know so, so it's so expensive, right? We should be at $165. So let's see, $120, 120, 40, 50, 5, 60, 2, 60, 3, 64, 65. Perfect. $165. The holidays and I really, really need to fix this envelope. <laughs> Although it does make it a little easier to put it in there. But I don't want money to just be falling out. So I need to fix it. All right. Um, household has one charge, I believe. Yep. And that is a charge of $28.58. So that is a $0.42 cent roundup. So to $29. So let's see what we got in here. But we only have $25. So I need to get $4. And we're going to go back to our buffer, which is going to cry. <laughs> I don't know who's going to cry or more me or the dang buffer. This buffer can never be great because of me. <laughs> so one, two, three, four. So $4 came out of buffer to cover that charge, but we are all good. So that's what that buffer is for. I really need to do better with my holiday stuff and I mean my uh, household money. Um, Let's see. What's next? All thing budgets. We do have a few things for all things budget. So I had to buy some stuff on Amazon for $5.90. So that's going to be a 10 cent upcharge to six dollars then so that's the only thing for all things budget although i do have no actually yep no i do have something that i will potentially pull from here later just um just in case i don't have enough money in my etsy envelope so all things budget is losing six dollars so i'm just gonna grab a 10 and get four dollars back one two three four perfect so all things budget now has 10, 15, 20 to the one, to the two, to the three, to the four dollars. All right. Let's fix that. Now Etsy's where we're gonna get a lot of things. Cause this Etsy envelope is where I buy all of the stuff that I need to make stuff for my Etsy. So I spent a lot of money that I probably shouldn't have been spending. All right. So I did do some Etsy ads. And so I ended up with $11 and 49 cents um, owed to Etsy ads. So that's a 51 cent upcharge to $12. Um, I had to do some shipping for our Etsy to cover a couple of orders. Um, so that's a 50 cent upcharge. 
um, from $11.50 to $12. And then uh, I'll come back to that for that one. Then I had to buy some more um, scratch off stickers um, for my new ones that I'm currently working on. So that's an 18 cent upcharge to $17. Then I had to buy some packaging, some like envelopes to ship some stuff in. And that was $5.20. So that's going to be a $0.74 cent up charge to $6. So altogether in Etsy, I need $47 to cover everything. So that's $20, $30, dollars So I have $40. Oh, no, I have $47. No way. No way that didn't just... That worked out perfectly. I have $47. So that means I am pulling $2 from Etsy on from my ally. So that's gone. And then the rest is cash. Ah! That's nuts. That worked out perfectly. Okay. So that's good. That's good. Taking care of, taking care of, taking care of. All right, now we're going to move on to my tech. And I've been spending a lot of money in technology, like a crazy person. All right. So a lot and a lot of my tech has just, well, most of my tech, well, pretty much everything in my tech has been games. <laughs> I've been playing Monopoly Go. And ugh, if you play Monopoly Go, you understand. It gets expensive. Because you just be wanting to get your cards and stuff. Like, you just be needing dice and stuff. Like, Jesus. <laughs> so, <laughs> God, take the wheel, please. So, my first one is a $3.27 charge, which is going to be a $0.73 cent round up to $4. And then I had another a Monopoly Go charge was that was $9.83, which is going to be a $0.17 cent up charge to $10. Then I had another, I had a tech charge where I bought my mics. So I hope you guys enjoy this, these mics, um, which is going to be a 78 cent charge from 12.22 to up to $13. Then I had another Monopoly going, which is going to be a 82 cent up charge to $3, round up to um, $3. Then I had, oh, I had to get myself another, um, iPhone case from Otterbox because my my thing like completely broke and I only had to pay for the shipping since I had the warranty from Otterbox and that's going to be a zero a seven cent upcharge from ten ninety three to eleven dollars and then I had uh oh I oh no I got it then I had another um another freaking um game charge but this one was from dice dreams not monopoly go for a dollar and eight cents so that's gonna be a 92 cent up charge um to two dollars so that should be 43 dollars but let me run that again just to make sure so four ten thirteen three 11, two. Yep, $43. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Okay, so sorry about that. Thought I heard my daughter crying, but nope, luckily she's still sleeping, which is great because it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 30, so she should be sleeping. So we're taking $43 out of tech, so that's going to be 20, 40, and we're going to take a five. And that's 45, and then we're going to do two back. Now I'm going to also go ahead and switch this 10 and these fives for 20. <laughs> All right, so we have $22 left in technology. Jesus, I wiped her out. I need to do better. Oh, 43. So we have 22 left. All right, and we only have one more charge to take care of in this one, I believe. 
and that's coming out of my classroom one where I bought something. What it was, I don't know, but it was $12.02. I'm not rounding that up. <laughs> Actually, I am going to round it up because I don't want to have to worry about that. So that's going to be $0.98 cent up charge, I mean round up to $13. So I'm going to take out this $20. And I'll put $7 back. I'm like, I don't know what the heck I bought. What did I buy? Lord. So I have $10, $12 in classroom now. All right. So that is my low part hardy binder all right and the only other place i need to pull from is my themed binder which i do not have enough money for so i am going to have to figure something out for this one so i you guys know i've been saving for one of my friends baby showers and i did not save enough for her baby shower um so i did buy her two like four different gifts so um one of these is a two cent roundup from $28.98 to $29. And the other one is a 36 um 30 cent roundup from $6.70 to $7. So I need $36. And in here I only have $10.25. So I think what I'm gonna do, so I need $11. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back here to my low priority. And even though technically it's not a holiday, I just feel like it's something it's kind of baby shower. It's kind of like a holiday. Why not? And I'm going to pull $11 from here. And I'm going to do this very like, <laughs> because I'm going to take this 10 and I'm going to do this. Boom, 11. So that works. <laughs> So from um, holidays, I really want to take that five and two too. If I could have, if I had a freaking reason to do that, that'd be great. I want to pull ten dollars out of there. So that ten goes over there, and that one goes there. All right. So I'm gonna upgrade, update holidays again. So one hundred twenty forty five fifty seven fifty. No, what? 140, 550, 254, 154. So, that's 11. So, 154. There we go. And that covers this. All right. So, <laughs> oh. Whoo. So, I feel that was a little less painless than painless than what it usually is but you know we owe I owe a lot of money All right so let's go in let's count up and see how much money we have in cash and then we will let actually let's total up how much I'm pulling from ally first so at 5 30 19 100 100 100 2 and 10 so I'll be pulling a total of 266 from ally 266 from ally all right and in cash let's get a little bit of sort quick from erica at black and blue to count up this money so we have 150 i'm not doing that type of math today not at 11 35 at night i'm not doing that no i will not and then we have in 20s, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60. So 260. All right. In 10s, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And 260 in 10s. All right, 
10 and 5s. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, so 120. And then in 1s, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11. So we have $801 in cash. Hmm, not bad actually. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. All right. So, $801 in cash. All right. We are going to be paying off my credit cards per usual. You guys know how this goes. So, let me grab my envelopes for those. So, we're going to start with, um, let's see. This is my cap one. I don't know what's going into debit, so we're just whatever is left over will go into debit, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's start with Apple. So Apple is getting 277.48. This old 277.48. So we're gonna round it up to 278 for Apple. So let's do 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40. No, let's do 200 like that. 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. So this should be 278. 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55, 65, 75. 76 and 778. So 278 in Apple. Perfect. Oop, that's not right on my iPad, Mercedes. All right, let's go to Target. So Target is getting needs 76.97. So that's going to be $77. So we we'll go 50, 70. Five. No, my God. One, two. All right. So with Target, we have fifty seventy five. So I'm six seventy seven. Seventy seven dollars in Target. There's that. Perfect. Then we're gonna go with. My Amazon or Chase, which is getting ninety-seven fifty, so that's going to be ninety-nine dollars. I mean, ninety-eight dollars. So twenty, forty, fifty, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy. Wait, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. What is happening? Eighty, ninety, five, and six, nine, seven, nine, eight. That's ninety-eight. Let's make sure because my counting for this one was horrible. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 97, 98. 98 dollars going into Chase. Now, the one that's supposed to have the most money <laughs> and always has the most money because I use it the most is my Capital One. And it's supposed to get 61947. So that should be $620. So let's see where we're at. <laughs> And we got to remember we got 20, 266 that's going to be coming over from Ally. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. 
So 348 here, plus the 266 from Ally gets me to 614. So I am $5 short. Hmm. But what I forgot to do was take away that was at in the 30 to $50 that's sitting in my bank account. So that will cover that, that $5. And then I will still have $45 in my bank account. So guys, we did it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bam, let's do this. <laughs> I am so happy for me. I thought this was going to be a show. And I feel like it went pretty smoothly. Do you guys think so? Like, I think it went pretty smoothly. Like... <laughs> I don't think it could have went any better, to be quite honest. Um, but, yep. There we have it. And look at all of these small little bills other than the hundreds that make me sad. Of these prop bills that I was able to get out of my hand, out of my envelopes. And I'm so happy about that because I hate it having to count them. So, all right. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Oh, do you guys want to know? Well, you guys know, I just told you I'm going to have $45 left over. Most of that is pretty much my roundup, pretty much. But let's add it up because I do do half of the roundup into my doggers account. So let's actually do that. I always forget to do my roundup now. So here we go. And there's a lot. <laughs> Just in roundup. It's twenty eighty four. That's just in my roundup of twenty dollars and eighty four cents. So if we split that between me and my daughter, we'll both get ten dollars. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna do that this month because I did do a lot of spending and it pretty much blew through my whole buffer that I have been building. So I'm gonna just leave that in my bank account so that I can start building that buffer up back up in there. My daughter's fine. She got plenty of money this month. Trust me. <laughs> All right, especially if you just saw her reallocation video, you saw that she just got over like a hundred and something dollars put into her bank into her binder she's fine most of the christmas money that's almost a thousand dollars is going towards her she is fine <laughs> trust me all right guys thank you so much for joining me for this suspense tracking video hopefully it was a little less painless than it usually is i feel like it went a lot more smoothly so i'm hoping that using the different trackers and like narrowing it down will make it a little bit easier for us i'm um, moving forward so once again, thank you so much for joining me in this video. Um, if you like this video and you enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure you hit um, give this video a thumbs up. And of course, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.